And welcome back folks, Professor Almeida here to show you how to practice for your IC3 exams using Gmetrics practice software. Now in this video, I'm going to take you through the Gmetrics environment and how to post up your test results. So if you need to use that pause button, it's there waiting for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is what Gmetrics looks like. And in your web browser, you wanna visit Gmetrics with an X.net. If this is your first time, you can sign up for a free account. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with mine. Now, if you need to take a couple of moments to get through the sign up process and you're following along, remember that you do have that pause button. So once you're signed in, this is the Gmetrics dashboard, but before you go any further, right, if this is your first time, you do need to redeem the access code, okay? So if you click on redeem in the navigation pane, you're gonna be asked to enter an access code. You need an access code to take Gmetrics exams and you'll find the one for COSA 30 on the homepage of our class site. So if you go into Canvas, and you click into our COSA 30 site, scroll down on the homepage, you should see the access code there and then you can just select the access code copy it and then paste it into this box. So again, just select the access code, copy by right clicking on copy or using control C and then right here in G metrics, you can just control V or right click paste and then click on redeem and you should be all set. Okay, so make sure that you get the access code taken care of. If you have any questions about G metrics under your name, you should see help and you also have a user guide you can read. All right, let's get started with the IC3 practice exams. Click on Start New Test in the navigation pane, and you want IC3 GS6, okay, Global Standard 6. This is the current version, and you'll see that there are three different levels, okay. Generally, you go in order, you start at level one, and then you go and take your actual IC3 level one exam, and then you move on to practicing for level two, and then for level three. So for each level, you'll see that you have two practice exams, okay? So let me show you level two here. So you have two practice exams, and you'll notice that you have training mode and testing mode. Let me explain the difference. In training mode, there is no time limit. So if you want to become familiar with the IC3 environment, or maybe there are certain skills you need to brush up on, start with training mode, okay? If you want to replicate the IC3 environment, do testing mode. You'll get 50 minutes to answer the questions. Passing is 700 out of 1,000 or better, okay? For the IC3 Gmetrics assignments, you will be turning in test results in testing mode. So what I would do first is practice in training mode so that you get a feel for the questions and then go and attack it in testing mode and try to pass with a 700 or better. On the real IC3 exam, by the way, it's the same thing, right? 50 minutes and passing is 700 or better. You do need to pass all three levels. Okay, so remember that if you are pursuing the IC3 certification. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into test one here, level one test one in training mode. You can see that I've already started a practice exam, but we'll just start fresh and begin a new test so you get an idea here. So this is what you could find on the IC3. Okay, before we go any further, uh, you can reset the question, you can jump around to different questions, you can save your progress, you can resize your text, and if you have no idea what these terms are, you can click on this help icon, and this only works in training mode, by the way, and you can get the definitions of daemon, driver, boot, open source, and so forth. You can skip the question, you can mark it for review to come back to, but let's go ahead and try to answer this matching question. Okay, so you see that we have five different terms and five different uh, fields here. So let's go ahead and answer this question. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up and drag access token. Whoops, there we go. Pick up and drag access token. You might have to do this a couple of times. Come on. Come on, work with me here. So you might find yourself having to do this, right? Okay, 
Anyone can obtain the source code, blah, blah, blah. That's open source, right? Here we go. The process of starting an operating system. This is boot, okay? And driver, and then finally daemon. This is the last one. All right, so we have our answer choices locked in. Let's go ahead and click on next. And we got it correct, okay? Training mode is gonna tell you if you got it right or not. By the way, take a moment to not only figure out what the correct answers are, but also why the wrong answers are wrong, okay? That's just as important. So don't just write down what all the correct answers are or try to memorize all the correct answers, but also take a moment, understand why the wrong answers are wrong, okay? So we see that we've answered the question correctly. There's the explanation and we're ready to move on. Okay, so remember, training mode, you don't have a time limit. This is your chance to really practice uh, for this exam. I would do both test one and test two just to get a feel for all the different kinds of questions. So first one was drag and drop. This one, we have four statements and we're asked to choose yes if the statement's true and know if the statement's false. Web browsers are the internet, no they aren't. Uh, web browsers are search engines, nope. Web browsers are software applications that retrieve and present information from the World Wide Web, that is true. And finally, they use URLs to connect to resources, that is absolutely true. So we got the question correct. Now we have a multiple response question, okay? So here we're asked to choose three what are the benefits of single sign-on? Choose three. Okay, so let's go through and answer the uh, three questions here, or three items. There we go. Hey, look, another matching question. Okay, so let's say uh, we, you know what, let's come back to this later. We'll skip it. Another one, I uh, don't feel like doing that. Oh, here's a good one, right? We gotta take a look at the ports and match them up. So let's see, A, A looks like a VGA port. Okay, so that would be display only. And B, well B, that's your ethernet port. So we pick up B and drop it in. C is HDMI because, well, it says HDMI right underneath the port there. D is a USB port, and then finally we have our headphone jack. If we still have headphone jacks on our devices, click next. We got it correct. Um, and you know what? Let's just keep moving around. So you can see the different kinds of questions that are being asked here. Okay, this one is a choose two. Uh, you decide to add more memory. What are the two types of memory? ROM and RAM. Again, if you're not sure, you can always click on this. All right, so let's say we get through the exam, okay? We've taken our exam, we finished it. Uh, let me back out of this real quick. And we're ready to turn in our results. So to turn in your results, go to tests and completed tests. Now in my case, I actually have to filter through my results because I have so many of them here. Let's say it's level one, okay? Uh, testing mode. Okay, I passed my testing mode. I got a pretty good score. Uh, 955 let me go ahead and uh, turn this one in so we need to turn in these test results so we're going to save it to PDF by clicking on the print icon we have Microsoft print to PDF and we can go ahead and choose print IC3 level 1 make sure you know where you're saving your results by the way and then choose save hold on a second though we're not ready to turn this in in canvas yet because we need to actually make sure that it worked. And in this case, whoops, I don't have anything here. And this could happen to you, right? This could happen. So how do we solve this? Well, stick around, uh, let me get set up and we'll be right back. Again, uh, if you need to take a break, this would be a good time to do that too. Okay, and we're back. Uh, let me show you what I did here. So I had to actually open up another web browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge now. And you might find yourself having to do this, right? If uh, your results don't print out, well, you need to uh, use another web browser. 
Uh, in this case, we have Microsoft Edge. You can also use Chrome, but let me show you again how this works here. So here's my testing mode results. You can see my name, it's testing mode. It should be the correct uh, level, right? Let's pretend it's level one. And just like with Chrome, Edge has a save as PDF option. So you don't need to use Microsoft Print to PDF. Okay, so we're gonna click save and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose IC3 level one. And one more time, let's make sure that it actually prints out. And there it is, right? Uh, level one, test one, testing mode, there's my name, there's my score, it's all good. All right, so that's how Gmetrics works for the IC3. Uh, I hope this video has helped you out. Good luck and thanks for watching. Take care.